Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now it's time to get to the top eight international headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. I had a long talk with my gospel gurus last night, and they told me that the Lord Jesus, who oh, hallelujah, is going to make a way, young blaze. Let's get to it. Story number one. You ever wonder why tuition is so high or what you're paying for in college? It's a hard knock life for us. Instead of treated, we get tricked. Instead of kisses, we get kicked. It's a hard knock life. Market Watch has a great opinion piece analyzing where to where the bulk of your kids' college money goes. The piece mainly focuses on the life of the well-known college professor and how he or she is being paid with your dollar that you've used to pay for that student. Now, it's a good article for parents who are searching for a good co college for their children, for their kids to attend. The article really provides some insight for those looking from the outside in. Now, I'll repeat the song. It's a hard knock life for us. Instead of treated, we get tricked. Instead of kisses, we get kicked. It's a hard knock life. Story number two. What would justice reform look like? New data in is showing some patterns in the death of black men killed by police officers. Not only just black men, but people uh, pulled over by cops in general. Now, the article points out that 60% of shootings have occurred in the South. That's a big uh, that's a big data point. Now, one key talking point in the article is that officers are more prone to shoot their guns. That they're the, the younger ones are more prone to shoot their guns uh, in this data. So there's a, there's some there's some that some data showing this as well, that the younger officers are are more prone to shoot. Data also shows that the majority of police officers rarely use their guns. So this is another key talking point. They're saying that a lot of the police officers that you see every day on the force usually do not use their guns. So this is something that's going on inside the story. So that's something to think about. Now, one key racial concern is that is the fact that 75% of officers who have killed a black man were, according to the report, white officers. So this is another talking point in this uh, this article and this story. Now, American history could be why this plays a key role in justice reform when trying to solve this problem. Now, some other stats show that officers who resorted to violence had a shady background that included some form of mental illness. So they're saying that these people that they're hiring, it's the vetting process. They don't know where the cycle, where their psyche is or what's going on inside of their mental uh and their mental evaluation so this is a, this is that's why this article is a real important article the article veers into a world of on-duty cases that really gives the reader a lot of insight on how on-duty officers and suspects find themselves in some very very unnatural unnecessary circumstances and situations this is a good read a very good article that goes in details with the data the talking points and it also points out some key information on why these events take place where people get shot and things happen and why those on the outside looking in need to pay attention to uh, stuff that goes on on the police force in the everyday life. There's another headline that made it in. Uh, rappers like Meek Mill and Jay-Z, along with others affected by the prison system, are joining the fight for justice reform. Like I said, it's a hard knock life. Instead of treated, some people get tricked. 
instead of kisses some people get kicked the story is still developing as uh and justice reform talk is keeping this story alive keep an eye on story number two that's why i made it in this week story number three after a year filled with protests has anything changed story number three points out what has happened in 2020 a year filled with protests and chaos across the world the globe and uh the question at the end of the day is has anything changed is anything changing are people really really getting in the picture with protests about police brutality uh people uh, upset with uh, government officials but is anything changing then that's why story number three is still developing because it's revealing what is happening on the ground in everyday life and why people are bringing these issues to the front sometimes it may be useful to look in the mirror and make that change I'm going to make a change for once in my life. It's going to feel real good. I'm going to make a difference. That's why story number three. Big, big headline. Big, big developing news story. Story number four. What would reoccurring stimulus checks do during the pandemic? Recurring uh, talks of a monthly stimulus check during the pandemic is causing a stirrup when it comes to a financial recovery. Time magazine has an interesting article that provides a brief insight into what the author feels will assist not only low income families, but black families as well. Now, the, the most uh, the, the, the thing to look for in this article is which is saying is that uh, is that a monthly deposited check during the pandemic. They're basically saying that this could be the solution to the financial problems. Now, in this story, the ideas on what can work for workers, the employers and the American people is is what is what is what being is what's bringing this story to light, giving it life. And could possibly stir up the discussion about what could work and couldn't work. So keep it on story number four. That's why I made it this week. Those are our top four stories that I made it in this week. International stories. I'll be right back with the top, top four international headlines and developing news stories that I made it this week. Don't go anywhere. You're in the media with me, Brian West. I'll be right back. If you want to check out the stories that almost made it in or did make it in, go to our Twitter feed on our website. Check out everything. All of the sources are there. If you go to the website. It's M-E-T-H-O-D, the number eight, I-N-C.com, method 8 where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor the program. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Now it's time to get to the top, top four international headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. It's all right. Because mama loves me. Now Rose does too. Story number five. American teachers have a problem and it's got something to do with U.S. culture, the United States culture. Kids might not return to the classroom anytime soon. And the uh, USA Today says that the teachers union are to blame. The unions are to blame. Now, in this developing story, the parenting and student behavior and the lifestyle of the American teacher is being exposed to everybody. What the problem of a teacher is, it's hard out there. It's tough. Now, there has also been a slight rise in suicide rates among young kids. Uh, one Fox News article has a headline focusing on how rising suicide rates in Las Vegas is sounding the alarm uh, for them to get kids back into the classroom. There's been a reported 18 suicides in the district. This story is still developing. Keep an eye on. Story number six, a growing challenge for refugees. An Arizona sheriff and many others are taking aim at Joe Biden for a stance on immigration. Many don't want current officials to ignore those abusing refugee laws and the legal system. The sheriff went on to point out that 1,000 gang members attached uh, attacked federal officials at the border. Now, this is an important time for churches to take advantage of the separation between church and state 
and care for refugees if they choose to and be ambassadors in foreign countries when you talk about missionaries for people in need of humanitarian support that means the church may have to step up now this could take some weight off of the government if the church does and give people the incentive to channel support to the needs of refugees outside of government affairs now this story is gaining steam because as the world suffers the refugee crisis will probably get bad or worse or even terrible people will probably be doing everything they can to get into other countries as a safe haven it could get worse devastating destroying i can find many many words uh that could describe how painful this could get it could get brutal savage uh, dis destructive keep an eye on story number six i'm story i'm sure you get the point because while you're eating and living off the dole probably freeloading there is somebody in hopes of that job that meal that position and that you may be taken advantage of keep an eye on story number six that's why i made it in this week Story number seven in the top two international headlines and developing news stories that made it this week. China is reportedly preparing for a brighter future ahead of the United States. These stories have been creeping in quite a bit. But multiple reports have been in and out of the news highlighting China's progress during the pandemic. The stories stem from importing and exporting information to border issues that China is having with their neighbors to tracking the deals that the Chinese have have made leading up to this point. China is on the radar because while the world battles through COVID-19, they're in the fight to bypass America in the global arena and economic. Now, the focus now seems to be on getting every American on the same page and looking towards the future when it comes to innovation and improving the American way. Keep an eye on story number seven. It can really, really sneak up on you if you don't pay attention. And if you don't come together, unite and realize your own fullest potential. There's a magical way and a magical way to do things when you do things the American way. Ooh, sounds delightful. Sounds good. Story number eight and the top international headline and developing news story that I made in this week. <sighs> COVID-19 blew a bigger gap between the rich, poor, and middle class. 1.1 trillion is how much richer the rich billionaire uh, that America's billionaires I guess not just the rich billionaires but America's billionaires got during the pandemic while more than 8 million Americans fell into poverty in the final six months of 2020 Janet Yellen uh, has apparently made Joe Biden aware that something needs to be done to lift Americans out of poverty a lot of Americans a big stimulus package is currently in the works and at the moment the stock market seems to be playing a huge factor in how the rich are getting richer and the poor seem to be getting poorer. Now what we'll bumped this story to the top this week is the simple fact that you have to have capital to advance in capitalism and you have to have capital to pay workers and you have to have capital and something or some way to barter a fair exchange to make a deal in capitalism. I could make a song about that. And you have to have capital. Well, those are our top eight international headlines and local stories that I made in this week. I hope you got something out of today's program. I always get something out of doing the research. As usual, I like to thank all the news outlets, the journalists, the people on the front lines. You deserve all the credit. I'm just the man in the middle. Thank the media and all those people. If you want to show some support, all you have to do is visit the website on the screen. Buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor a program. If you want to show some love. I've been working very hard. And then uh, this year, uh, well, this week, I'll probably be looking over 200 or more stories. So in a, in a year, that's probably over 10,000 or so stories that I look over on a weekly basis just for you to keep you informed. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week. I love you. I'm headed out. I love everybody. Love is the way. Love is the answer. Love is what keeps me doing what I do for you to stay informed. Have a good week, everybody. Thank you for tuning to the media this week with me, Brian West. Peace. Have no fear, fellow citizens.